What is going on guys and girls of YouTube, it is me the Acting Gamer, back with another Call of Duty gameplay commentary for you today. Today what you're going to be watching is a little bit of Black Ops 4 Team Deathmatch Stockpile Game Mode. This is the new game mode, it was in Black Ops 3, it's made a comeback in the new Shamrock and O update. And basically what it is, is basically just Team Deathmatch, but when you kill an enemy they will drop like a little Shamrock, which you then have to collect and take to the deposit bank to drop it off. To pick up the point for that kill. It's uh, it's quite a fun game mode. It's just something a little bit different. Two team deathmatch. You know, it's just spices it up a little bit. Um, I really enjoy. I really enjoy it. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy this game mode. That's why it's been brought back. As you can see, here, here I go, just dropping it off, and there's there's the uh, 50 points for collecting them, 50 points for dropping them off. So this game mode is a really good way of getting your streaks, actually. Basically, what I'd suggest playing this game mode is to basically, if you can, just stay in and around the area of where that little gold deposit bank is. And just try and pick up the kills, steal their little points, and drop them off yourself. Um, a lot of people play it the same way. A lot of people just kind of camp it up by the little deposit bank and just drop it off when need to be that... Bunny Rabbit killed me so many times during this gameplay. I'm actually embarrassed. He absolutely did my nut in. Uh, perk and gun wise, what I would suggest, perks, I would suggest anything that makes you agile and and quite nippy, so you can just go, so you can just dip and dodge and slide around the map. So basically something like, you know, anything like lightweight, gun mode, dexterity. Gun wise, I'd go SMG. Or an assault rifle which has got a good hip fire rate. As you can see, good hip fire spread on the KM57, that's why I've gone with it. Or maybe even the shotgun. Um, as you can see, that bunny rabbit is using the shotgun. He kills me so many times that it absolutely does mean nothing. So you definitely want to be going for guns that will suit you well up close because a lot of the a lot of the gun fights in this game mode are close range engagements. Um, specialist wise, I would probably go with, um, what's her name, um, not Outrider, uh, I can't even think of a name, what is her name, oh my god, literally, uh, I literally can't think of her name, well, the one who can, who can hack things anyway, because like I said, it's so easy to get your streaks in this game, look at that, he drops all of them, bum bum bum, I take them over to the deposit bank, and I basically just get my streaks all in one go. So basically, yeah, I would use the specialist Zero. That's her name, Zero. I would use her because she can hack people's score streaks. So if someone does get lucky enough to uh, drop a good couple of uh, shamrocks off and get all their streaks in one go, like I've just done with there, if you were using Zero, literally you can just hack their score streaks and they, their score streaks then become yours. It's a pretty scammy way of doing things, but it's you know it's it's handy. It does work. But anyway, guys, that is all for this gameplay. Like I said, you know, take those tips on. Um, let me know how, how you work on. If you got any tips yourself for playing this game mode, then feel free to check them down in the comment section below. It's always good to hear how other people like to play the game. But in the meantime, guys, I will just wrap it up now and just leave you to watch the actual gameplay with the volume. And I will see you next time. Please drop a like, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
CXD spotted. Mercs think twice before trying that again. <laughs> 